<laughs> Meanwhile, Labour's aspiring sports minister has let slip that she's never been to a football or rugby match. Tangum Debonair was being grilled on her new role as Shadow Culture, Media and Sports Secretary when she admitted her lack of experience on the terraces. The MP did, however, acknowledge how much the games mattered to other people, adding her husband had enjoyed playing rugby. It comes just days after Labour criticised Rishi Sunak for appointing Grant Shapps as the UK's new Defence Secretary for having no military background. Shadow Attorney General Emily Thornberry accused the Prime Minister of handing out jobs to his mates. And yet here we are, have Labour doing the same thing. Like, it's nuts. OK, I'm not saying you must be an expert. I don't expect the no. media, media, Shadow, whatever, Secretary to have been a professional player themselves or to have run a media company. But have a to, clue. To have worked in it, perhaps? Yeah. To have at least attended some basic games like that, football, rugby, the biggest sports in the UK. It, it's Why? It's she's about to attend hundreds. It, as uh, yeah. long as she's capable. I was I just think, about to no, say that. No, no, no. no, no, okay, no, no let's no, culture no. have it's a clue. Culture, no. media. And sports. At least she's so, not. She's got to do all of those. So, so why saying... doesn't she know about sports? She shouldn't be having this job. Exactly. I, I don't think it, there's any equivalence. It, it, you know, I don't think a, minister, uh, a secretary of state for defence needs to have military experience. In fact, uh, I was speaking to a Colonel uh, Richard Kemp the other day. He was the former. Uh, le leader of the uh, forces in Afghanistan, and he said the best minister of defence he dealt with didn't have military experience. So I don't think that's a good equivalence there. However, uh, what this brings into focus is this business of, the, of politics. You know that the, 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 they gather, uh, the prime minister gathers around these sort of twenty people or so, and they're so brilliant mm. they could do anything. Yeah. Oh, you've done education for three months. Oh, you could do culture and sport now. Oh, you, yeah. you you'd be doing environment. Oh, I'm going to put you on, <laughs> you know, I'm going to put you on education. Yeah. You know, there's some... There, but so, was so, so that, it, to say that they're... ever different? Do, yeah, I mean, so, so this is a, a, an egregious example but of someone I, who shouldn't be doing Kevin, the job. Kevin, are you job. seriously yeah. saying she's incapable of doing the job because she hasn't been to football exactly. and rugby matches? Yes. That is yes. true. Yes. She doesn't understand sports. Yes. That the biggest sport in the country. Yes. Yes. And, and you, let, you, let me just you said... Don't, you and don't know you whether does... she understands sport. No. All you know is that it's she hasn't basic. personally. You <laughs> don't have to have been in the army, but to be a minister for sport, a secretary of okay. state for sport, I and think you should have been yeah. in a football game. And yet you just yeah. said yeah. that the minister, best minister of defence had not been yeah, in defence. Yeah, but that's defense. a different... That's a different, different and also, and also, so, hold on, are you just saying that defence defense is separate from everything else? Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, I'm saying that uh, you don't need to have been in the army to be a secretary of state. But you do but, need to have... But, to yes, you do need to have gone to a sports what? game yeah. to be Minister for Sport. Yeah. No, the Minister okay. for Culture, it's, it's, it's Media and Sport. I, I, yeah. I, I, must, I must admit is that I, I do think that, and I think this across the board, is that if you're in charge of a government department, you should have a clue. Yeah. So if you are culture, media and sport, you should have at least... I mean, I, okay. I've okay. been what to if, What if she said she'd matches. never been to opera? Would that upset you? What if, 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 if she'd never been to the opera? It would upset that, me that, if that that she was, had been. Hold on a second. <laughs> and does sport, does sport only include football and rugby? No, yes. it doesn't. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and 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 golf, I'll have golf as well. Table, tennis, Oh, my gosh. Marbles. You cannot compare people attending ping pong, a ping pong tournament, to football and rugby. What about squash? One of the main points also is that we have seen phony and fake politicians year after year for yeah. decades pretending they love football yeah. and they know nothing yeah. about football. Yeah, I agree we with saw that. David yeah. we saw David Cameron couldn't even remember his own football team because he was Villa. lying. Exactly and doing what confused. And then and there was yeah. people yeah. who yeah. like music like Arctic monkeys. Who's in the Arctic monkeys? No idea actually. Right? Well yeah, yeah. No but idea. okay but, so but she's again, honest. No no okay oh, great she's honest but she's still not suited for this role. She if, might be listen I'll, I'll, tell I'll tell you why I'll tell you why because part I know you're about to say part of it now is about women's football isn't it? No I'm leaving them alone for a change. <laughs> um, part of this, it's not just about the culture and media, it's about sports. If football and rugby are the biggest sports in this country, and football is in the blood of this country, not having gone to any football match ever in her, in her, in her what, her 50 years... She's now going to go to lots. Yes, but she's not been, she's not been raised and, and attended that in her life thus far. She does not understand what it's like in the services. So any decision that she's making thus far will be based off having to ask everyone else. So at the football, should we serve hot dogs? Should, should, should you're saying, she, should you're saying that she knows nothing about football. But the Defence Minister is doing the same thing, I understand. It's obviously a lot more serious than hot dogs in the terraces. What guns should we have in the army? But yeah. is she's going to ask advice... The defence exactly. secretary is going to ask advice. They, right, so let's, they do uh, have so advice. let's reverse yes. Ferret a bit and they just say none of them 
are qualified to do these jobs. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous that there's this assumption that these people are so brilliant they can do any job, you know, for three months and then do another job. No, and that's ridiculous. And, and, and we wonder why the, the country door. is in such yeah. a mess. Exactly. Because these useless people can't do anything. Right, that's it.